Sanjaya continues after hearing all the conch playing loud from both sides of the army. O Dhridharashtra, thunderous sounds tore through the sky, trembling the hearts of your sons. Then Pandu's son Arjuna, whose chariot has a flag of a, a monkey, picked up his weapon which is the bow to start the battle. O king, seeing the formation of the army in front of him, the army of your sons, Arjuna turns to Krishna and says to him, Krishna, please take the chariot to the place in between the two sides, somewhat closer to the opposing army. I want to see who are present there. I want to see who is gathered to support this malevolent son of Dhridharashtra just to please him in this mother of all wars. So Krishna then takes the chariot forward. I pondered a little bit. Here are two armies. They've already blown their conch. They're ready to fight. But the fight, the, the, the battle has not officially begun. Arjuna is asking Krishna to take the chariot closer to the opposing army. Wouldn't that be somewhat dangerous? But apparently not. The reason is, just like today, there were rules of engagement even then. In other words, there were rules of war. And in fact, those rules were strictly adhered to, strictly followed. These days we hear about war crimes. and There were some rule breaks even in the Kurukshetra war. I will discuss just that in my next post.